What if you stopped dibble dabbling? Is that even a bloody word? What if you stopped dibble dabbling, dancing around the person you came here to be? What if you just were that person now? What if you stopped waiting and you just chose to embody the version of you that already has the thing that's already done it, that is it right now? What if you took some big deep breaths and you just decided to get out of your head, to breathe into your body, connect with your awareness in your body and ask yourself if I was on my highest timeline and being the highest version of myself, how would I move? How would I be? Because this changes everything. Because life is going to reflect that back to us. It's a mirror. And it's always showing us what's going on inside of us. It's always reflecting to us who it is that we're being on the inside, what it is that we're thinking about, what it is that we're feeling, what's really going on internally. And so we have the opportunity to take some big deep breaths, remind ourselves who we really are because you are a sensational impeccable amazing wonderful human being and you came here to live a big beautiful audacious simple relaxed opportunity filled love filled relationship filled life but it's up to you whether you fully step into that and you can do that By acting as if it's already done. Act as if it's already done. Feel the feelings of it already being done. Make yourself use your imagination, this powerful, incredible tool that we all have available to us, that we all just kind of forget. Or we aren't really told about it, are we? But I'm here telling you about it now. That your imagination is your weapon. It is your magic wand. It is your magic trick. You can use it anytime you like. And a powerful time to use your imagination is when you are about to drift to sleep. When you are about to put your head on the pillow and as you put your head on the pillow, you just start to imagine and feel what it's like to be the version of you that already has the things that you want. The version of you that's already living the life that you want. Now, you might be close to that. You might be living a wonderful life. Doesn't mean you can't crank up your imagination in your favor. You might find that you're living a life right now that just feels so far from your dream life. And that's okay. Use your imagination. As you're falling asleep, as your head is hitting that pillow... As you are putting your head down and you're closing your eyes, send yourself, make yourself, force yourself to control your mind and start to feel and think as if that thing that you want is already done. Is it the relationship of your dreams where you are so loved, where you are so seen, where you are so doted on? But you are so reminded of how beautiful and brilliant you are. Is it relationships with your family or with your friends or with your work colleagues? Is it the car? Is it a house? Is it all of the above because you know you get to have it? But it's up to you to activate your imagination, your internal world because... Your internal world doesn't know the difference between what's happening within you when you're just imagining and what's really happening in your day to day. You can trick it. You can hack your system. It's there for you to create the life that you want to create in your imagination, in your feelings as you imagine, as you believe within you because A belief is a thought that you keep thinking. So if you choose to think certain thoughts about your life already 
It's already done, already being in a certain way. Then it's so it is. Don't mistake your imagination for nothing. It's everything. It's up to you to activate it. And a powerful time is when you're falling asleep. Because it's when you are in between worlds. You're going from your conscious thinking mind into the subconscious where all of your programming, all of your life, all of your habits really exist. Yeah, that's right. 90 to 95% of what you do in your day, in your month, in your year is what is happening in your subconscious mind. And as your mind just starts to slow down, as the brain waves start to slow down, you can start to access the part of you that is controlling your life and your habits and your thoughts and your feelings. And if you start to program yourself, that's right, you program yourself like a computer. If you're disciplined about this and if you use that time when you're falling asleep to start to think and feel about the life that you would like to be living, about the experiences you would like to be experiencing. Because let's be honest, no matter where we are in our life, we always want more. We always want to experience something else. It's the nature of this life because we are always expanding. So there's always going to be something that you'd like to experience, the something that you would like to desire. And that is part of living in this reality, this human experience, this human life. And so as you drift to sleep, You'll start to think the thoughts that you want to think as if it's already happened. You are being grateful and saying thank you for it already happening months ago. You're living the life that you want to be living now and feeling that in your body. I want you to do this for nine days straight. And I want you to come back to this video and I want you to share with me what you're experiencing, what you notice. Drop a comment down below. I want to know. Thank you so much for subscribing before I end this video. Thank you so much for liking and thank you for commenting. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Can't wait to hear how this exercise goes for you. Have a wonderful evening or wonderful day wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next video.